Hello everyone. Recently, many countries and many health agencies have shared guidelines regarding the use of cloth face coverings, especially in areas where we have the significant community-based transmission or those areas which are crowded and uh, there is a potential of getting infected with COVID-19. So I will cover few aspects of cloth face coverings, especially homemade face mask, how you can make at your home with raw material which is available at your home. So from where we have this evidence that this can be used. The recent studies which shows that individuals with coronavirus lack symptoms which we call asymptomatic and that even those who eventually develop symptoms pre-symptomatic can transmit the virus to others before showing symptoms. This means that the virus can spread between people interacting in close proximity, for example speaking, coughing or sneezing, even if those people are not exhibiting symptoms. In light of this new evidence, CDC recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain like grocery stores, pharmacies, especially in areas of significant community-based transmission or areas where we suspect that there is a chance of getting infection. Recently, yesterday, Government of India also issued the guidelines to use face masks in public places and uh, how you can make a face mask at your home. This is also recommended by government of India. It is critical to emphasize that maintaining six feet or around two meters social distancing remains important to slowing the spread of the virus. CDC is additionally advising the use of simple cloth face coverings to slow the spread of the virus and help people who may have the virus and do not know it from transmitting it to others. Cloth face coverings fashioned from household items or made at home from common materials at low cost can be used as additional voluntary public health measures. The cloth face coverings recommended are not surgical masks or N95 respirators. These are critical supplies that must continue to be reserved for healthcare workers and other medical first respondents as recommended by current guidance. Clothes face covering should not be placed on young children under age 2, anyone who has trouble breathing or is unconscious or incapacitated or otherwise unable to remove the mask without assistance. So there are a few questions. Should cloth face coverings be washed or otherwise cleaned regularly and how regularly? Yes, they should be routinely washed depending on the frequency of use. So generally when your mask gets wet or when you use it for around 6 to 8 hours, you should change your mask. You should have at least 2 to 3 pairs. So when you used one, you can keep it for washing and you can use Another fun. How does one safely sterilize clean a cloth face cover? A washing machine should suffice in properly washing your face covering. If you don't have washing machine at your home, you can soak your face mask in uh, washing powder and uh, you can keep it for around 30 minutes. Then you can wash it with soap and water and you can dry it in sun for at least five hours or if you don't have sunny day first you wash your face mask with soap and water and then you put it in a pressure cooker and you add some salt to it and add water to it and boil it for at least 10 minutes and if you don't have pressure cooker then you can use another utensils and you can put water and some salt and put your this face mask which is made up of cloth and 
just boil for 15 minutes and dry it in the air or if you don't have pressure cooker or you don't have you can just wash it with soap and water and you can dry it and then you can use iron on it so it can be heated in front of flame or anything for five minutes and then you can use it so another question also rise here that how to keep the extra pairs safe or clean when you have extra pairs you take some polythene bag you wash it with soap and water and dry it and you can keep the clean face mask in it so how does one safely remove a used face cover individuals should be careful not to touch their eyes nose and mouth when removing their face coverings and wash hands immediately after removing before using mask you also keep few things in mind that before using mask you should wash your hands your face properly and then only you wear the mask face covering should fit comfortably against the side of the face be secured with ties or ear loops you should tie them properly you should use multiple layers of fabric that allows breathing without restriction able to be laundered and machine dried without damage or change to you should not use such type of cloth which cannot be laundered or machine dried or cannot be boiled so better you use cotton cloth so now we will see how you can make a face mask and so how to make mask at home we can make three types of mask very easily at home so we will cover one by one the one where we can sew a mask in home so if we have to sew a mask we require two 10 into 6 inches rectangular cotton fabric two 6 inches pieces of elastic or you can say rubber band or strings of cloth strips or hair ties you need a needle and thread or a bobby pin or a safety pin you require scissors and a sewing machine so first you have to cut two pieces of a cloth in a rectangle where the length is 10 inch and the breadth is 6 inch so this cloth should be preferably of a cotton which is tightly woven like quilting fabric or cotton sheets t-shirt fabric will work in a pinch stack the two rectangles you will sew the mask as it is a single piece of fabric so first you have to do take two rectangles put one on another then you have to fold it you can see here from from outer to inner side and from both sides then you have to stitch it from here to here and here to here then next step you have to fold inside round half an inch or you can keep one an inch from both the sides to the inner side and you have to stitch inner side not the outer side so you can pass the ribbon inside it once it's stitched you take a elastic or better you have the cotton strips and you have to pass this with bobby pin or safety pin or any other material which you use at home from one side to this then you have to tie the knot you can tie the knot or you can keep these opens if you have the cotton strips so gently pull the elastics and you can see some layers are formed these layers have to be kept towards the downside and now this mask is ready but before you use it it's better you wash it as i earlier mentioned so second type of mask do not require any sewing you require some old t-shirt and one pair of scissors so you can see if you have some old t-shirt you have to cut it from here but before you cut it you measure it around seven to eight inches from both the sides and cut it properly once you cut this you will get a piece like this then you measure around one cent one inch from this side and one inch from this side 
and you have to take the length around 6 to 7 centimeter and you cut it like from this you remove this portion so it is like a carry bag now you cut these strips so this is like this you have the strips so you can see the upper strip is over the occiput and the lower strip is behind the neck so third type is bandana face cover or bandana is like a big handkerchief which you use to tie up in the neck or wrap your hairs or in the forehead and you require coffee filter which is available in the market or it is available when you have the machine so you have to take cotton cloth approximately 20 into 20 inches and coffee filter and you have to this is like a cup so you have to cut this like this first thing you have to fold this from the half to one side then you have to place the coffee filter inside this then you have to fold again from this to here and this to here it will become like this the strap then you require some rubber bands or hair ties which you have to keep some six inches apart and then you have to fold one side towards inner side and this side also towards the inner side and it will look like this you do not require to give stitches here if it is it will work when it is tied to the ear it won't open up if it is properly made but if you want you can put two stitches one here and one here so it will be more safer i will try to demonstrate now that how this type of mask can be prepared at home although i have just given this rough idea and this is not as such as uh, described in the my presentation earlier this is just an idea that how you can make it at home so hello everyone we just saw three methods of preparing a face mask at home so we will cover one by one the first method we require two pieces of clothes 10 inch in length and 6 inch in breadth, one pair of scissors, one marking pen, measuring tape, needle and threads and we also require sewing machines which I don't have at home so I will try to use something else to stitch my mask. So first step is we will cut a cloth into two pieces which I have already cut one measuring 10 inch in length and 6 inch in breadth we will place one cloth over the second cloth ok and in the next step we will fold from this side with the 10 inch side towards inside and we have to stitch this in the sewing machine or this must be around not more than one centimeter and we have to stitch this layer from here to here so i don't have the sewing machine here in my home so i will use this needle just to show you and the thread that it can be done right here Okay, I will take like this, like this, like this, and we will stitch this up to the end. Okay, this is one side. We will tie a knot here and we will cut and we will stitch other side like same.
if you have a sewing machine it will be much better and much neatly it can be done okay so it's done now this is front now we will fold from here and from here but we will sew like this that there should be a gap for the string to enter from this side we will stitch from here to here only but we will not stitch this so we can put the string here this side this side also we will stitch from here here to here let's do it sorry minimum length is required to cover your nose and your mouth similarly we will similarly we will sew this side so this is ready okay now we need strings to attach here or we can use rubber bands or we can use hair bands which are elastic or any other elastic bands which are available with you okay but right now i don't have any elastic bands available in my home but like i am a doctor and i attends lot many conferences so these are the name tags which are given to me uh, or we given to everyone who attends the conference so i will cut these strings and i will use these as my tying string i will use these as my strings okay so you require something which can take this inside either you need require a big needle or anything which you use in your homes i will use this safety pin to pass this strings from here so you can see string is here i will pass the another string so string is passed i will move this safety pin so my temporary mask for a kid is ready okay so the mask is ready you little pull these strings from both the side so you can create some layers here okay like this and now this mask is ready to be used but i recommend that before using this mask you should clean it so my younger son want this mask to be used in his little onesie so i will use it first you should tie the 
upper note then the lower note that is lower note to be kept behind over the neck and the upper knot over the ears so you can see this homemade mask is ready so this is the first type of mask now we will prepare the second type this is the second type and for the second type of mask you require some old unused t-shirt and a pair of scissors and a measuring tape to measure so we will measure round uh, we measures around 6 to 8 inches from up to down and we will mark here okay and we will cut the t-shirt from one end to another end this is the most easy so this is the cut piece and now I will make strings so you need to keep some one centimeter distance from here or you can take one and half it depends upon round here I will take one and from the down also somewhere here and around six to seven inches from here so around seven inches and seven inches from down also and now I will cut it towards the down and towards the outer side and now I will cut the strings and this is mask is ready okay you can have for the little ones so this is again can be tied after cleaning so this is the type 2 mask which is ready so now we will prepare the type 3 now for third type we require the coffee filter paper okay that is available in the market if you have a coffee machine in your house and we require a another piece of cloth usually bandana that is type of the larger size handkerchief you have in your house which you use to tie your head or wrap around neck we require at least 20 inch by 20 inch and uh, we require the elastic strings or rubber strings I don't have elastic strings so I will use this type of small tying rubbers so this is for the smaller size I am using because I don't have the larger size cloth here so first you fold the cloth from middle of this then the 
coffee paper which you have to cut into this size you have to keep it here in the center then you have to fold from both the sides okay and here you do not require any stitches if it is of proper length it won't open out so you require the rubber strings here i don't have the elastic string so here band so i will use this to make the elastic string so i will put one by one in this and i will prepare elastic made these two so i will use these two i will put one from this end and fold it inside another one this side and fold it to inner side okay usually when you are making it for the large size or for adults it's usually 20 inch by 20 inch cloth and these are usually 6 inches you have to fold from both sides the 6 inches which is shown in the diagram which you already saw and then this mask is ready or if you think that it can open or it can come out you can make two three stitches here with the needle stitch this and this but it, it do not require stitches if it is properly made so this is ready so this is the third type you just you can use this is ready to use so these are the small measures which government is now recommending so whenever you go to some crowded places or some hot spots where transmission going on you can use this type of homemade face mask for you and for your family thank you so you just saw that how these small measures can be helpful for you for you and your family thank you so these are the references which are given by the cdc that this face mask are used in various studies and they have found them effective for general public thank you